Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now a few months ago uh, we shared or I shared a video with the community regarding a wireless remote control comparison and what we can take out of these devices to give us the best experience possible while we are on the couch watching TV through our Android TV boxes. For those of you that don't remember or didn't follow the channel back then, I'll post a link right over here on the YouTube card so that you can check that out. Now, the point is that uh, since then, I've had one of one question uh, several times, uh, I don't know how many, but a lot of times asking if, um, Hey Robert, is there any app that you find reliable to use my phone as a wireless remote control to control my Android TV box? And there are, there are a lot of them on the Android side especially, there are a lot of them. Uh, some of them work, some of them don't. And I do believe that the app that I'm going to share today is the best Android TV box app at this moment for the remote control experience and also because it has a lot of features that we are going to take a look on this particular video. Now before we begin I would also like to mention that I do honestly prefer personally uh, to use a physical remote for this function but I do understand um, why some of you guys would love to use your phone as a remote and save some money on a physical remote. So having that in mind, uh, if you are a physical remote guy, then you have the video that I shared a few months ago. On the other hand, if you want to try the app, uh, it is free, so any of you guys can try. Uh, unfortunately, also for the iOS users, uh, there is not a lot of choice. Actually, there's no choice, and I would love to see in the future um, this particular app that I'll post a link right uh, down below in the video description. Uh, I would love to see that on the iOS site. Unfortunately, <laughs> until now only for Android and that being said with this big intro let's go straight for the video hope that you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in a few seconds Okay guys, and here we are back with the Android TV Box app called Seres Play, which is, as I said on the intro, the best Android TV box uh, at this moment for the uh, wireless remote control experience for our Android TV box. And this, of course, is only my opinion. Now, let's start with the beginning. In terms of installation, it's really uh, easy. All we need to do is to install the app version for our Android TV box. And at the this moment, I was using the Pro Box 2 Air, as you can see there uh, on the video. Also, we will need to install the app version for our Android phone and on this particular case I'm using the Elephone S3 which I've been using for the uh, past few months and I will share my review uh, very very soon. So regarding the installation it's pretty easy, one app for the Android box and one app for the phone itself and that is it. It will synchronize uh, automatically and if you have more than one Android TV box uh, on your house you can select the box and so on and so forth. Now let's move on to the features itself. Of course it has the feature of uh, the wireless remote which is what we are talking about on this particular video uh, with four different modes that we will check better and then it has uh, a lot of features including one called play on the app center uh, my apps clean master screen capture YouTube and a live channel. Now we will take a further look in all of these uh, but let's start with the remote control itself. Now it has the first mode which is the D-pad mode and this is my favorite uh, mode. It's very simple as you guys can see there uh, on screen with the arrow keys, volume up and down etc. So um, for the simplicity, this is the one that I do prefer. And honestly guys, if we were talking about only about remote controls, what I could say by now is that the video could end right over here. And some of you, if you want to try the app, just finish the video here, go and try it for yourself and discover everything that uh, it has to discover. For those of you that have the patience to hear me a little bit more, uh, then let's move on with the video for the next uh, um, mode on the keyboard which is called the touchpad mode. Now this mode can be very useful uh, if we want to uh, drag uh, inside any app 
uh, or even drag in the screen and although I see it very useful it needs in my opinion of course a, a little more, more polish because I would love to see this mode in the future of course um, sorry to be able to be used in games like Fruit Ninja and uh, Minions and uh, similar games that we need to use our finger on the screen like we use it on a phone or on a tablet uh, so honestly I would love to see this um, mode a little bit more uh, precise and a little bit more compatible with these kind of games that we could just use the phone to play on our screen. So if anyone at Cetus Play ever see or ever watches this video, if you have a, a few minutes, hours, months and the patience to take a look if this is possible or not, this was one of the things that I would love to see improved on this app. Now let's move on to the next uh, mode which is the mouse mode and in terms of the mouse mode, mode sorry, works very similar to a function of a hair mouse on a remote control. Uh, very similar to what we have seen in the IPEGA 9028 gamepad, um, which I did purchase this gamepad uh, on because of this purpose, the mouse mode, uh, and can be very useful to be used in apps that require that we touch on the screen. So this is a very useful mode uh, for several apps. And finally, we have the numeric uh, uh, keyboard, which is basically a D-pad remote, like we saw on the beginning, uh, with um, some numbers and this can be useful for those of you that use IPTV services uh, that will uh, allow us to use numbers instead of well we can use both the d-pad or the numbers to go directly to a channel guys this is it regarding the uh, wireless remote control functions but uh, the best is yet to come I do believe at least this is my opinion uh, this app has a lot of features and let's move on so that the video doesn't get too long and start with the play on feature and as the name uh, states this is a great feature that allow us to stream videos from our phone to the TV. Now in the past I've used other apps with this feature but this one is by far the best one at least so far uh, without any lag and very intuitive uh, in terms of control so uh, it can be very useful to share to the TV a clip that we recorded with our phone uh, and share it with the family and friends and so on and so forth so uh, this is great. We can also share pictures uh, um, and the same great experience happens uh, there is no noticeable lag and we can just swipe between our photos and of course the quality and aspect ratio will depend on our original uh, photo files. Finally, there is also a, an option which personally I don't use that much but it is useful to share other type of files including APK files that we can install on the box uh, through the uh, phone itself. Now talking about APKs and apps that we can install on the box with the um, with the phone uh, and this app set as play um, there is also the app center and in terms of the app center it's uh, well designed. Now um, we were talking about apps so this is the dedicated app uh, center that will allow us to install and open any app from our phone and this uh, will speed the process of opening apps uh, and also installing apps of course. Now as you guys can see I did record a few uh, um, images there. I did install ES File Explorer and it's very convenient in my opinion especially when we don't have a wireless remote or a keyboard which is usual on the TV box experience. So this feature can be uh, very useful in my opinion. Also I didn't count but there are as you can see on the screen uh, a lot of apps on this list. Um, ready to be installed uh, but of course if we need any other app we can install uh, from the store um, or from any uh, other APK that we download and then uh, install through this app on the phone which uh, allows this so a very quick experience experience sorry in terms of installing apps now there is another feature which is my apps and I do believe that this one is also very useful um, which shows every single app that we have installed on our box but it will show here on the phone uh, and it will simply allow us to open any app with just a touch on the phone. 
Now guys, this can be very uh, useful to speed up the process of looking for apps, especially for uh, boxes that have a lot of apps. And I know some of you guys install apps, install apps and so on. And we have a lot of apps, so it's difficult sometimes with just the remote control, which once again, I do prefer the remote, but it's difficult to uh, um, look for a particular app. One of the ways that uh, I use this is to create shortcuts on my home screen uh, so that I can be fast. But if I'm looking for an app that I don't use uh, that often, then this uh, particular um, feature on this particular app it is very useful now next we have uh, the clean master uh, which is once again useful but I usually do this this manually um, I do close the apps that I'm not using manually so that the box has all the resources available to uh, do whatever I'm uh, doing with the box, playing games or watching movies or whatever I do <laughs> with the box. So uh, it is useful. I cannot say that it's not with the press of a button. It will do whatever it, you do manually and taking up a few seconds with the app, it's a bit quicker. But moving on, it's not one of those that I found uh, more uh, important in this particular app. So moving on to the um, next feature which is the screen capture and the screen capture it's uh, a nice add-on uh, will let us take screenshots as it, as it says of any app that we are using on our TV screen uh, and although I don't see it myself using this as I don't see it myself using the clean master but it is a useful tool to to have nothing major but it is useful um, so some of you will use some of you won't but it is there now in terms of apps we still have uh, um, in terms of features we still have one called YouTube and besides we can use uh, the box with the regular YouTube app we can also use this feature of YouTube that will uh, screencast directly to our TV um, so this is this is great especially because it will once again uh, speed the process and will be useful um, if we are looking for example for a, a particular video using keywords we can type a lot faster on the phone uh, and we can find videos a lot faster and then stream it on our box which is which is great in my opinion so um, this is one of those features that I do see myself using when I'm watching a, a YouTube video, when I'm looking for a YouTube video, because my subscriptions appear there are easy, but when I'm looking for something particular, uh, it is a bit more difficult to write. Uh, it's, it's good to write here, but it is a bit more difficult than writing on our phone, which we are used to use every single day to type messages and so on and so forth. So it's natural that it is easier. At least that's what my brain is telling me. Not really sure if it's true or not, but that is it. Now, uh, we also have a feature called uh, the live um, channel. And this live channel is uh, something that I don't use, but I do see the potential of this for those of you that use IPTV services. Now, this will allow us to place any M3U or uh, URL uh, error list uh, with live TV channels and then cast them on our TV with a simple and easy UI. Personally, once again, I don't use this feature, but for some of you guys, uh, this will be very useful I guess and there's only one way uh, to see if it is or not which is to try and and then leave me feedback down below now lastly we have some settings and in terms of settings settings sorry as you can see also on screen they are very simple uh, we can adjust like uh, vibration options screen light etc and so on and so on so uh, in terms of settings this is a, a very simple app to use well in general this is a very simple app to uh, use and to, um, this is also one of the reasons that I did uh, select this app to show you guys here and share on the channel so that you guys can uh, use it and test it and, and give us some feedback. Now to conclude this video in terms of the things that I do like the most on this app, um, let me start by saying that it is free, it is a free app so anyone can use it and test it and so on and so forth. Uh, the remote control function, it is very responsive without any not notable input lag and it has four remote types. Now it's also easy to install and use so anyone can use without any uh, knowledge at all. It has a lot of features besides the remote app which is great and to finish up the things that I did like the most 
my favorite functions are the play on the app center and my apps on the other hand things that i did like the least on this app the first one is there's no version for the ios i would love to see this uh, on the ios side um, but let's let's hope in the future even if it was limited because we know how apple works in terms of the app store even if it was limited i would love to see this app uh, working on the ios side and uh, finally I would also like to uh, to see the touchpad function, as I said, uh, to work with games like the Fruit Ninja or Minion Rush, which, which I would uh, um, love because there's not a real solution at this moment right now to pass this issue, which is uh, are these games in the TV experience. So I would love to see that improved. And these are the only things that um, I did like the least. Now, guys, uh, one thing that I would like to ask all of you that watch the, um, this particular video is try the app if you want, of course. And then if you try it, leave down below on the uh, video description, or sorry, on the comment section, uh, your feedback about the app, what you like about it, what you don't like. Uh, did you hate it? Did you love it? Whatever uh, is your feedback, uh, share with us and as always, we are learning with each other, so it will be very useful, not only for me, but for the whole community. And I've talked a lot. I wanted the video to be a bit shorter, and I do apologize for that, but that's the way it goes. Guys, once again, hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.